The market is volatile. Bitcoin could go up or it could go down. It seems very simple, but the truth is you can make money whether it goes in either direction. Today, we're going to be discussing how you can make money if Bitcoin goes down. It's called shorting. And this video is going to give you the long and the short of it. Let's get it. BitSwap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, BitSwap will get you the very best price and value for your trades. BitSwap is changing the game. Try it now at BitSwapDex.com. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in crypto. If you like money in crypto, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today, guys, we are going to be discussing how you can make money, whether the price of Bitcoin goes up or goes down. This discussion is vitally important right now. Why? Well, because we don't really know if Bitcoin's going up or down. We're waiting for confirmation to see which direction it goes. Are we going to see the double bubble scenario where we get another gigantic crypto run to end the year? Or was that it? Was the bull market over? You need to be prepared for either direction that Bitcoin goes. If you're unaware, going long on Bitcoin means you're betting the price will go up. Going short on Bitcoin means you're betting the price of Bitcoin will go down. So either direction that Bitcoin moves in, you're going to be able to take advantage of that through what is called leverage trading. Now, of course, this is not for the faint of heart. This is for people who are responsible traders and understand proper risk management, which basically means you stop losses and don't get wrecked. Some people would say that getting wrecked is part of the process when it comes to leverage trading, though. You just have to be brave enough and smart enough to get through that portion. I know for myself, I lost money for a long time for years leverage trading until this year I was actually able to make seven figures. So not too shabby of a job. The two most popular platforms to leverage trade on are Bybit and Femex. You can get access to both of them and some great deposit bonuses by going to bitboycrypto.com slash deals and clicking on their respective links. But today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to short Bitcoin on one of these platforms if that is what you want to do. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, guys, so here I am on Bybit. Now, first and foremost, you're going to want to sign up for Bybit. You go to buy, uh, bitboycrypto.com slash deals. You can hit this link here. You can come down here to Femex, hit this link here. Of course, if you want to sign up for some of the uh, kind of uh, things in the orbit of leverage trading, you guys can sign up for Market Cipher or VPN Lim Unlimited if you need a VPN. Uh, we also have a full Bybit review. You just go to review up here at the top of the page and go to Bybit review or Femex review. We have two reviews for you guys on both of these leverage trading sites. Uh, if you want to know more about them, if you've got questions, for example, about the fees, about the app, about the interface, uh, there is a demo mode that's a test net. If you want to practice it, but you're not ready or, you know, we're not sure you're ready to go for sure, you guys can look at that uh, on the review here. So make sure you guys check that out. All right, so we're going to make this pretty quick. I do want to cover a few things, uh, which is obviously the coins you can trade. Uh, I trade the inverse perpetual contracts, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, or XRP. Uh, with these, you're actually profiting in the token or the coin. When it comes to the USDT future or uh, perpetual contracts, you're profiting in USDT. So even if you're betting on LINK, you're doing it with dollars, if that makes sense. So there they've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink, Litecoin, Tezos, Cardano, Polkadot, Uniswap, and now new ones, Ave, Sushi, XRP, and NIM, which is an interesting choice. Uh, if you want to get promotions to, when you sign up, you guys can, of course, go to the latest promotions and the rewards hub. If some of you guys have IP issues, that's where this unlimited or VPN unlimited comes into play. That's what uh, what I use. So here we go. Uh, let's find out how to short Bitcoin. All you got to do is you got to have a price target in mind at first. Like if you think Bitcoin is going to go test $30,000, then you're going to want to decide, I think Bitcoin can go down to $31,000. Uh, and from there, you can take advantage of that information. Maybe you watch Carl or you watch Chris or you watch some of the other technical analyst guys, uh, Crypto Face, and they may say, hey, if we plunge through this level, you may want to short Bitcoin. You may want to bet that it goes down over an extended period of time uh, or maybe even a temporary period of time, just enough for you to get those profits. In that case, what you're going to want to do is come over here to Bybit. You guys can see 
Right now, um, the price is at $36,051. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna first set your margin. So here, it's on isolated margin. This is a big warning to everybody. I always tell everybody, don't use cross margin unless you're an absolute expert. You will get absolutely wrecked and you can lose all the money in your account. Then for leverage, you can come down here, you can slide the leverage to whatever you want it to be. 25X, don't use 100X, that's crazy. 50X can actually be used in some situations. Uh, but for most of you guys, 10X is probably gonna be too much. I would say 5X or lower. I've got mine on three for this example purpose. You come over here, you verify it's at 3X. Um, then you can come make sure you have the isolated margin as well. Uh, to set your order to short Bitcoin, what you got to do is you got to decide, do you want to do a limit order, a market order, or a conditional order? I highly suggest using limit orders. Market will, orders will kill you in fees. Conditional are just a little complicated, uh, for especially for beginners. You're going to want to use a limit order. You're going to want to determine what price you want to short Bitcoin at. So right now it's at 59000 uh, or 35900 Let's set it for 36000 on the nose. Uh, you want to select how many contracts. We're going to do 25% of our account here. And just so you know, this means that if Bitcoin goes back up to 36K, that's when my order will trigger and we will be shorting Bitcoin. The main difference between longing and shorting on the interface here is just long is green, short is red. Pretty easy. Now, you can't do a long and a short at the same time. They'll cancel out each other. If you need multiple accounts, you can sign up for Bybit with multiple accounts. Uh, right from our page. So what we're going to want to do here is click sell short uh, and we're going to decide where we want the profit. Let's say that we think it's going to test 30,000. A little trick, always bake in a little bit extra. If we think it's going to test 30,000, you'd want to put 31,000 in or 30,500 somewhere along that line. Uh, for your stop loss, you're going to want to determine how much of your account you're willing to lose. This is how you use proper risk management. Uh, I usually do 15%. This means it can go all the way up to 38,000 before my stop loss gets triggered. Now you don't ever want to get liquidated, so you want to use a stop loss. And here's a little trick. Wherever your liquidation point is, if you set your liquidation point in the price of shorting, uh, or in the case of shorting, you would want to set your liquidate or your uh, stop loss one dollar below your liquidation um, and that will keep you from ever getting liquidated if you decide to go without a true stop loss you're going to save 20 to 30 percent just by one dollar uh, a decrease on your liquidation point when you're shorting when you're longing you'd want to go the opposite you'd want to make it one dollar above your liquidation point if that makes sense so that's a little pro trip uh, pro tip for you guys uh, and at this point, don't worry about post only, reduce only, um, or good till canceled. This is this is a setting. You can change it to some different stuff. I don't ever mess with those, so I suggest you don't as well. All you're going to do at this point, you're just going to hit sell short. Um, I'm not actually putting this order in right now, but when you do, when you do put your order in, you're going to see it right here uh, in active. Your active orders would show up here. Once they get filled, they will show up as a position. They're no longer an order, they're a position. Uh, and then from there, you can manage it the same way you would manage any trade. Get out of it at any point. You can edit it and trade your stop or change your stop loss or your take profit points. And that is how you, you know, short Bitcoin. It's that easy. Now, so the fact is, while I long in bull markets, we don't know where we're at in this market cycle 100%. We could easily be on the way down very soon. Uh, I hope that's not the case. I'm still hoping we're going to be longing and not shorting. But when the market breaks, we will be shorting when we trade. It only makes sense. You can't change the market based on retail investors. We just got to kind of swim with the whales. And that's what I intend to do. And I hope you do too. All right, guys, make sure to drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about shorting Bitcoin. Do you think it's unethical? to short Bitcoin. Do you think that it's a great way to make money? Either one, drop those comments down below. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.